Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to High Off Blue Hour. All right, so this video is about creating a portal spawn point using a particle template in Fusion. So something like this here, but there's a high amount of customization that can be done to this effect. So this is really just a quick rough example. So we'll be using this mid journey image here for our example background, but of course you can also use a video. It doesn't have to be a still image. So once we have our image dragged into the timeline, we're then going to go into Fusion. And here in Fusion, right here, this node that says Media N1, this is our background image. You can rename it if you would like, but I'm not going to in this video. And so that's going into our media out. So what we're going to do now is we want to go up here to the effects tab up here and click that. And then we're going to go down over here to templates, click the drop down arrow for that, then fusion, and then down here to particles. And then we'll click on that. And then we're going to go over here in this drop down menu and go down to where it says portal spawn point. And then we just simply click it. And so when we do that, it shows up in our workspace here. And it's actually uh, everything, all the nodes are attached in the right order. There are some times where you simply click the portal spawn point tab. And when it pops up in the workstation down here, it actually, you have to do some kind of reconfiguring of some of the nodes to make sure things are connected in right. Now, as I kind of mentioned, uh, sometimes when you do the, when you simply press the portal spawn point, uh, when you simply click portal spawn point to bring it into your workspace, it'll bring, it'll come in to your workspace, but it will automatically attach in this fashion. And so you'll have to do some changes here. And what you'll have to do is disconnect this media out from this merge node by double clicking on the line, bring the merge node back a little bit, and then take uh, this line that's connecting media in into media out and you want to take that and have media in going into the yellow triangle on your merge node and then bring your merge node and have that line going into the yellow triangle on the media out so we can get back to the proper uh, connectivity of the different nodes within this template I don't know why it has that sometimes it, it attaches in the incorrect fashion and you have to fix it sometimes so uh, and this is the correct way that you want to have the, the correct order for how you want things attached but right now things are connected in right you have the media in going into the merge you have the spawn portal spawn point node going into the merge and then all of that going into the media out which is what we want now also what I like to do that you might find useful as well is I drag a transform node right here, grab it and drag it into the workspace and I drag it into this space between the portal spawn point node and our merge node. And you see once it turns two colors, I let go and it, the transform node links in there. Uh, now why I do that is the transform node makes it so that you can pretty easily alter the size and general position of our portal spawn point graphic by clicking on the transform node, going into the inspector tab and doing size changes and things like that and, and kind of positional positional changes on the axes and whatnot. So the portal, the transform node is useful for that. Uh, but to customize the look of your portal spawn point in terms of various colors, particle controls, particle dynamics, and glow, you wanna just make sure the portal spawn point node is highlighted. And then you're gonna go over into the inspector tab and you can just mess with all of these different uh, variables for the portal spawn point nodes. You can change the color of these different rings or you can make them to change the opacity. Uh, just really, just truly customize and alter the way all of this looks. You can alter uh, what the particles look like, the dynamics, particle dynamics, the glow effects, all of those type of things. So there's a lot of control variables with particles that you can mess around with to really achieve the look that you're going for. Now, of course, once your fusion composition is visible into your liking, uh, you can then go back into your timeline and ultimately go into your deliver export tab 
and just export things, export your project as usual, you know, in whatever format it is that you're going for, whether it's MP4 or whatever the case may be. You can customize things to your liking and probably get a much better result than I did. This is just kind of a quick, rough example, but that is the video. That is the DaVinci Resolve Fusion Particle Template for creating a portal spawn point. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.